Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Starkey Farmstead. Let me tell you what we're gonna do today. Hey, in the garden. A lot of work. A couple of tips for you guys. If you're working with a heavy mulch, and say you're gonna use hay, okay? A couple of things I found out last year, I reminded of this year. Red ants in Southeast Louisiana love trash hay, okay? Occasionally, I have found snakes, mice, lizards. I'm sure there've been other things in there. So let me show you guys what I'm gonna be doing today to protect myself. I'm going to be double gloving. Just your regular work gloves, and then these amazing thick rubber gloves my husband got me, okay? Now, the purpose of that is if I start pulling off layers off of this bell and there's something embedded in it and it strikes at me or it bites me, it's gonna be going through the rubber glove and through the second pair of gloves. Hopefully, <laughs> I can avoid it making contact with my skin. So it's about protection, okay? Now the rubber gloves go part way up the wrist and the forearm, you know, so that's important. I also have on long sleeves, long pants. Protect yourself when you're working with this type of mulch. I also brought out the wheelbarrow. I've learned the hard way, unrolling that, carrying it in my arms, I've got to get it close to my body, okay? so. But I don't realize that there are fire ants in this until I'm halfway across the yard with it. They will eat you up. I have actually gotten down to my undershirt and my undies in this garden last year, learning the hard way. Do not get naked in front of your neighbors. They're probably not going to appreciate it. I'm just saying. My neighbors probably think I'm half insane because I was hollering, my clothes were going off, my shoes went one way. It was terrible. It was terrible. My husband couldn't do anything but laugh at me. <laughs> so I learned. So I'm gonna unroll a couple of pieces. I put it into the wheelbarrow, push it across, layer, come back, all right? That's just a free tip for you guys on helping you stay safe when you're working with bailed trash hay that has been stored somewhere. I'm telling you guys, especially in Louisiana, things, critters, bugs, the oh sweet Jesuses like that, okay? So protect yourself. And it does help to have it in the wheelbarrow. You can move more of it faster and it's not a strain, but please don't put it against your body, okay? Like I said, I did get naked in my yard last year. Like not completely naked, but as close as I was going to get. It was pretty bad, it was pretty bad. Fire ants here are literally life-changing events, like you could make a post on Twitter about it. Like you might would even need therapy when they're done with you. So guys, protect your bodies, understand what type of environment that you're in and where you're located, how long that hay has been sitting there, okay? Hope that this helps. Got a lot of work to do. Need to get some trash hay out. Tomorrow, we are having a conservation graze land tour here. Super excited about it. And April 29th, we're having the worm forming class. If you've not registered for either of those events, go to our Facebook page. Information is up about it. We would love to have you here at Starkey Farmstead. There's nothing more that Stephen and I enjoy than showing people what we have been able to do on two acres debt free. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and share our videos. Thank you for rowing in our boat and letting us row in yours. Have a blessed day, guys. You know, God is so good to give you examples when you're talking to people about safety. You guys see the speckled king snake? So, when I pulled this edge of the hay off, there he was. Now, what if that had been a copperhead or a pygmy rattlesnake? Sam would have been bitten. Now, a king snake is not nearly as aggressive, and no, I'm not going to kill it. But this is why I make the videos that I make for you guys, because I live this life every single day and I come in contact with the most insane stuff. Beautiful though, Whitney. He'll kill all the poisonous snakes on my property and having a pond in Southeast Louisiana means I have a lot of poisonous snakes on my property.